Hey folks, welcome back here to the Vegas Don channel. We're here at the Mirage parking lot, which is about to go bye-bye and be replaced with a huge guitar-shaped hotel, identical to the one in Hollywood, Florida, owned by the Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino and the Seminole Indian Tribe of Florida. They are um, going to destroy this building, this 35-year-old building that was constructed back in 1989 and replace it with the Guitar Shaped Hotel. Take your ticket with you. I wonder if they're going to uh, replace the parking garage too. Be interesting. It's just being a weekday, the place is kind of dead and of course it's getting ready to be closed to shut down anyway. Uh, favor of its destruction. 35 years is not a whole lot of time, especially when you consider they, they uh, are destroying the, in the process of destroying the Tropicana, which was about 40 years, 30 years older, 30 years older than the uh, Mirage here, but uh, lanes all over the place here. Exit lane, exit lane. Now, they didn't give us a ticket when we came in here. They said it was parking was free today, so we're about to test that theory. Let's see how true that is. And both gates are up. You're free to go. That's pretty cool. A very rare, exceedingly rare here in Las Vegas. They do not allow you to uh, do any uh, free parking. And now we're going to make this left here and go up to Spring Mountain Road. I've got a stop sign here, so we'll wait here and proceed. Spring Mountain Road and make a right. Treasure Island South Park right here on the left, right next to the Mirage. The Treasure Island South Park is one of the only, if not the only, free parking left here along the Las Vegas Strip. You can see Trump, the Trump building right, right there in front of us. No casino in that one. That one has, uh, it's just a hotel. Has some dining in there too. Not talking politics, just pointing it out. A lot of these guys just lend their names to these buildings anyway, get paid for it. And we got the green turn signal here at Spring Mountain. That is Fashion Show Mall right there on the left, Saks Fifth Avenue, Macy's. And then of course the wind right in front of us as we head eastbound here towards Las Vegas Boulevard. And we'll go southbound when we get up here. And this huge waterfall out in front of the wind there. It's back behind the shopping there though. Palazzo here on our right. There's the wind and the Palazzo. And then the waterfall is back behind that building there. This is a major intersection. Spring Mountain is a major east-west artery here in town. This is like, which which lane do I choose? Because you have dots. You have dot dots. Um, striped lanes here. That are all over the place. We said this in one of the earlier videos too. They, the way this, they just, they don't demarcate these lanes very well anywhere in town. There's the Mirage, which we just left. It's about to go bye-bye. There she is right there down the mission there Outback Steakhouse Fat Tuesday Casino Royale I'm gonna go ahead and get over here Siegfried and Roy Drive 
forum shops attached to Caesar's Palace right there. I believe that's where the Vanderpool, Vanderpump, whatever her name is, is located. Advertising for Donny Osmond, of course. Vanderpump, I think it's called. I think this is a lane. I'm not sure. There's the link right there, the high rollers behind it. We have a dotted line here. Down the middle of the lane, they just, I don't know what they're doing. Caesar's Palace right there on the right, with Caesar himself standing out front, waving to passersby. And then the Flamingo, a long time hotel casino here on the Las Vegas Strip. As we approach the light here at Flamingo Road, which is another major east-west artery here. Back in the day, they used to name the roads after the casinos that were located on them at their intersection with Las Vegas Boulevard. So Tropicana would be on Tropicana and Las Vegas Boulevard. Flamingo would be on the Flamingo right here, would be on the Flamingo Road and Las Vegas Boulevard. Got Gordon Ramsay Health Kitchen right there, Health Kitchen right there. And then Sands would be on Sands, and Desert Inn was on Desert Inn, and uh, so on and so forth. Sahara was on Sahara. But uh, that has since changed. That right lane must turn right, okay. This guy just completely cut in front of me here. And we have the Cromwell here on our left as well. And then the one-half scale Eiffel Tower right next to the horseshoe there, and it's huge LED. One-half the size of the Eiffel Tower in Paris, of course. Cosmopolitan. Waldorf Astoria. Aria. And then the Bellagio coming into view here on the right as well. We finally got the green light here at Flamingo. This big LED, it's really annoying. Imagine that, this has got to be really distracting at night. We got the big bus here, and uh, wherever my lane goes. And there's the Eiffel Tower right there. We got the Bellagio over here on the right, the west side of us. The towers, the uh, fountains rather, are not going right now. See its marquee out front there, along with the Paris balloon. Planet Hollywood over here on the left. Cosmopolitan again on the right. Punk Rock Museum, another attraction here in Las Vegas. Complete with spiked mohawk on that limo. See Planet Hollywood there. It's a good thing they have all these pedestrian crosswalks that are uh, elevated crosswalks because be sitting here forever. Not to mention the danger that would come with uh, vehicular traffic and pedestrian traffic at the same time. Crossing over Harmon Avenue now, there's the Aria right there. Veer Towers behind it, there's Polo Towers right there. Come up to Aria Drive. Another huge LED screen on the top of the Waldorf Astoria there. Former Hawaiian Marketplace over here on the left is being replaced. I forget what they're putting in there, but if you happen to know, please drop a comment I'm for everyone. I'd like to uh, be able to remember what they were going to put in there. We have a Target over here. I'm not sure how big it is. I don't think I've been in there. And then New York, New York with its replica skyline of Manhattan. Lady Gaga, their MGM brand being advertised. Now coming up to Tropicana, there's the one half scale from the, uh, the statue itself, Statue of Liberty. As we look 
look at the Tropicana here. They are destroying down, destroying the Tropicana, and they're going to replace that with a Major League Baseball stadium for the Oakland Athletics, who will soon to be the Las Vegas Athletics here. We've got Excalibur over here on the right. And then more of the Tropicana's destruction over there. And then the Lux are coming into view here, the Param Pyramid. BMW has a wrap on it or something there. It's an interesting color. Wait for this light here at Reno Avenue. We've got the green light here at Reno Avenue. There's a little tram. I don't know if that's going to come out in the video, but there's a little tram that runs between Mandalay Bay, Luxor, and Excalibur. I don't know if that's going to come out. And Luxor there. It's pyramidal splendor. Mandalay Bay Road. And go ahead and get over the other lane. And uh, wait for our turn here. We've got the green light here at Mandalay Bay Road. Proceeding southbound on Las Vegas Boulevard. For our friends following along at home, using your preferred map app. You got a McDonald's over here with a liquor store. Panda Express over there. All this across from this huge mega resort here, in Mandalay Bay. A bunch of helicopters taking off here. You've got the, uh, they all do their tours, the strip tours, etc. Coming up to the light here at Russell Road, a major east west artery, but it gets cut off by the airport here, about halfway through the city. Crane there over the uh, Pinball Hall of Fame or Pinball Museum. Pinball Hall of Fame there is on the left there. If you're in town and that's your thing, check it out. Welcome to Las Vegas sign is right up here. As you see a Delta flight taking off there from the Las Vegas International Airport. And we finally mercifully got the green light here at Russell Road and Las Vegas Boulevard. So we're gonna continue southbound on Las Vegas, head up here to the Las Vegas sign. I'll show you that's located here in relation to where we just were at Mandalay Bay. Rush Pinball being advertised there at the Pinball Hall of Fame on the left side there. Vegas sign right up here in the middle of this, the median of Las Vegas Boulevard. Valley High Golf Club there on our right. And there is the backside of it. Drive carefully, come back soon. And we're going to go ahead and get over, and there it is. Oh, well, it was. <laughs> Sorry about that. Not a lot of people out here. At least not a lot of cars, I should say. I'm going to pull in here to McCarran Field Executive Terminal. Let me show you this real quick. Maverick, this is uh, one of the tour companies here. Helicopter tour companies. You can see the airport over there. The runway. The Maverick. Helicopters here. Just take a moment and stop here. Say thank you to all of you who uh, 
like, follow, and, sub and subscribe to our videos. We really appreciate each and every single one of you. We would not be here without you. And uh, take a look at our new Vegas Don gear that we have on the uh, shop section of our YouTube channel. We have some awesome uh, gear and merch for cold weather, warm weather, cool weather. Uh, it has the Vegas Don logo on top of the uh, Las Vegas skyline there. So uh, hopefully you find something in there that you like and uh, check it out. As always, just remember here on the Vegas Don channel, it is the journey. We'll see you again next time, folks.